Mojave Max Emergence Contest. Hi, I'm Dr. Joyce, and I want you to meet Max. He's a tortoise who lives in the Mojave Desert, and that's why we call him Mojave Max, the desert tortoise. The real-life Mojave Max lives at Red Rock Canyon near Las Vegas, Nevada. He has his own home and underground burrow there. They can live 60 to 80 years. Every fall when the weather gets cooler, Max goes into his burrow. And we want to show you how to guess when he'll come out of his burrow or emerge when the weather gets warmer. That way you can enter our Mojave Max Emergence Contest. Anybody in the United States can enter this contest, but only one student each year from Clark County, Nevada can win. And if you make the right guess about when Max will emerge, you can win all kinds of prizes for your class, your teacher, and some just for you. It may take a little scientific knowledge to be a winner, so we want to tell you something about what Max eats and drinks, where he lives, what kind of weather he likes, and what dangers can make him disappear from the Mojave Desert. When it's winter time, animals like bats, chipmunks, and mice fall into a deep sleep called hibernation. Max snoozes through the winter too, but he doesn't sleep as soundly, so his nap has a different name. Let him help you guess what it's called with a little charade. Stirring. 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 Digging. 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 One word. Sweeping. One word. Sweeping. Sweeping. Shovel. Shovel. <laughs> One. Digging. A broom. A broom. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Yeah. Broom. When Max is brumating the winter away, we want to find out a few things about the sunshine and the desert temperatures that will make him wake up and emerge from his burrow. To help you with your forecast, here's Nate, the great weatherman. My job is to show you how the weather where we live affects us and desert tortoises too. So let's go to the map. The name of the desert that we're living in has the same first name as Max. Even starts with the same first letter. Remember? Mm, Max? That's right! Mojave Max! Because this is where so many desert tortoises just like Max make their home. The Mojave Desert is not just in Nevada. It's in California. It's in Utah. And it's in Arizona, too. We know it gets hot in the Mojave. 100. 110. Maybe even 115 degrees? Or hotter. Ah! But it can also get cold. Just look at some of our high, snowy mountains. And it can get pretty chilly even in the valleys. The Mojave Desert is pretty dry. How many inches do you think it can rain here in a year? One? No, that's more. Ten? That's less than that. In an average year, it'll rain maybe four inches. But sometimes it comes down in buckets. If we're smart, we can dress for the rain and temperature changes. In the summertime, when it's a hundred hot degrees, are you going to wear your heavy coat to the swimming pool? No! Oh. And in the wintertime, when it's getting down to 32 freezing degrees, are you going to wear your flip-flops and tank tops to go sledding in the mountains? No! Of course not! 
But Mojave Max can't change his clothes when the weather goes from hot to cold. Instead, he has to snooze in his burrow, where he's sheltered from the cold all winter long. So if you want to win the Mojave Max Emergence Contest, be a good weather forecaster and find out the time of year when the days get a little longer because the sun stays out a little later and the temperatures rise higher. Then Max will start to wake up from his brumation. Thanks, Nate. To make sure Max sleeps well every winter and emerges from his burrow when we expect him to, our tortoise teacher, Miss Candace, wants you to know about why tortoises fit in so perfectly in the desert and how we can do our part to protect them. Oh, and pay attention because later we'll be playing Max's fantastic classroom quiz show. Max has relatives all over the Mojave Desert, and they all begin life in the late summer as hatchlings that emerge from eggs. It can take up to several hours to hatch, and the baby desert tortoise is in danger because it's so tiny and its shell is still soft. So after they hatch, the first thing they need is an underground burrow to protect them against the heat and the predators that might eat them. Burrows are important for desert tortoises year-round. They not only shelter them from harsh cold, they also protect them from intense desert heat in the summer. When fall weather comes and the temperatures start to drop, the desert tortoise heads underground into the warmth of its burrow, where it can keep from freezing. In fact, Max will spend 95% of his life inside his burrow, warm in the winter, cool in the summer, and safe all year round. With all the digging Max does, he needs strong front legs and nails. He also has a strong shell that protects him just like a suit of armor. Because the tortoise can pull its head and legs inside, it has extra protection from some of the animals that might want to eat it. Max's shell is made out of two different pieces, a plastron for his bottom half and a carapace for his back. This carapace is covered with 13 pattern plates called scoots that are made out of the same material as your hair and fingernails, a protein called keratin. Both boy and girl tortoises have a guler horn that sticks out under their neck. As adults, the boys have a larger horn that they can use as a spatula to flip over other tortoises. Like all reptiles, desert tortoises have scales that protect them from rocks and prickly plants in the desert. They also help keep moisture in. Tortoises can range in color from nearly black to brown to even a tan shade. These are the colors of our desert, which help the tortoise to blend in or even camouflage itself. Because we can't see the tortoise very well, we have to be very careful out there. The desert tortoise is an herbivore, which means it's a plant eater. They eat the native plants and grasses of the desert and are attracted to the bright colors of wildflowers. Does a desert tortoise need water? Absolutely. Without it, they would die. They get most of their water from the plants that they eat. But to get the rest, they have to wait for it to rain. And we don't get much rain in the Mojave Desert. So sometimes it will come out of its burrow in the summer when it's going to storm. And it will scrape out an area of dirt by moving its plastron from side to side and hope that the shallow bowl will fill up with rainwater to drink. They store up as much water as they can inside their body. And that's why we should never ever pick up a tortoise when it's in the wild because you could scare all the water right out of it and it might die before it ever finds enough water to drink. It seems like Max should be right at home in the desert. He's really well adapted to his environment. So why do you think he's a threatened species?